and news from the region. A troubling viral video in St. Lucia depicting child abuse is being investigated by police. The video shows an adult woman beating and dragging a young girl while another young girl looks on. They were both later confirmed to be siblings. The video, which appeared to have been recorded from a minibus with locals and visitors on board, surfaced on social media in St. Lucia over the weekend. A second video shows someone recording the woman walking with the children, threatening to expose her actions on Facebook. The videos have sparked outrage among members of the public who have called for the arrest of the female. An anonymous police source says the girl can be arrested for assaulting her younger sister and if she caused any injuries, she can be charged with harm or wounding depending on the extent of the injuries. And in international news, a couple detained in Mexico while transporting human body parts in a baby carriage has admitted to killing 20 people. Under interrogation, the man identified as Juan Carlos N. confessed on Monday to raping and murdering 20 women and selling their body parts and belongings. Carlos and his wife Patricia were arrested on Thursday in Ecatepec on suspicion of killing 10 women. In custody, the man gave detailed accounts of those murders and then revealed to investigators that he and his wife had killed 10 other people as well. Prosecutors are now trying to establish whether their claim is true or the boast of a, quote, psychopath serial killer. And finally, a suicide bomber has struck an election meeting in Afghanistan's Helmand province, killing at least eight people, including a candidate for the upcoming parliamentary elections. Salel Mohammed Akenzai was holding a meeting in front of his house when the suicide bomber detonated his explosives. The blast also killed several of Akenzai's bodyguards. It was the second suicide attack to target a parliamentary candidate since campaigning officially kicked off on September 28th for the parliamentary election scheduled for October 20th. There are 2,565 candidates vying for seats in the 249-member chamber in including 417 female candidates. On October 2nd, an attack on a rally in the eastern province of Nangahar killed 13 people and wounded more than 40. At least five people have been murdered in targeted killings so far, according to the Independent Election Commission. Channel 2 Headline News, George Gonzalez. Thanks for watching Headline News. Leave a like or a comment below. And for updates on the latest news happening in Guyana, click the subscribe button.